So first, let's take a look at Trip.com's Artnova platform. So Artnova platform is their internal uh, reporting platform, right? It has a lot of data and runs a lot of queries every day. Uh, so this is its older architecture. They've been the Starbucks user for a very long time. Uh, and they actually started using Starbucks as a data warehouse. So they had Trino as a query engine, right? And tr because Trino is not performant enough for a lot of their scenarios, so they were forced to deploy another data warehouse, a Starrox cluster on the side, and uh, ingest the data into Starrox uh, purely for query acceleration purposes, right? And that uh, was kind of creating some headaches for them. Uh, so first, despite Starrox ingestion, data ingestion speed is pretty fast, was pretty fast. Uh, the data refresh still lags uh, because of the data, data ingestion, right? And that affects the flexibility and timelessness of the queries. And it also adds complexity in the data pipeline, right? Because you are uh, maintaining two systems and with the ingestion pipeline and the table schema index design has to be the same, right? And, uh, you have to do like additional uh, table schema design and index, index design, right? Uh, and also duplicating the data to another data warehouse, you're the same data having two copies. Uh, that's not really great for data governance, right? And that's kind of complex and very expensive for them. And then they kind of unified Starbox as the sole query layer and got rid of Trino. Right. By doing that, uh, the first thing is they got rid of one big uh, infrastructure level software on their technology stack. Right. So they have a more streamlined architecture and they experience a 7.4 time performance gain on the same data without that's without a uh, materialized view, the use of materialized view, right? Of 7.4 times performance gain. And also they're keeping their single source of truth of data uh, in their hive tables. And that's great for data governance, 